a promise I made to the subscribers more than two years ago. Because apparently I'm supposed to almost hit their car. One of the more stupid things that I do as a photographer. All right, here we go. Hello and welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt and I'm a Fox Body enthusiast. Some might even say, not me, some, a Fox Body influencer. And we're all about Fox Bodies today. And guys, I'm really, really excited today because I've been waiting for this moment for two years. This is my baby here, Tar Heel Fox. That's why it's painted Carolina blue. In case you haven't seen a big Carolina Tar Heel fan. And I am with today a professional photographer, artist, all that stuff, Harris Lou. Professional. That's right. Yeah. That's how we do it here. I just, We're I just, a professional channel. Yeah, I just I just <laughs> like to do cool stuff, and I've just happened to you know, make money off the cool stuff that I do. So I guess if that's a professional, then yeah, we can call me a professional. We're going to go with it since I make a little bit off this video. So <laughs> watch the ads the whole way through. No, you don't have to do yes, that. I'm just kidding. At least watch the first one. <laughs> what we got going on today, Harris is actually a promise I made to the subscribers more than two years ago. Golly, yeah. It's and been it's, two years. It's hard to believe it's been a, almost yeah. two years to the day because it was my birthday yeah. two years ago. And so in two years, we're just like, a little a little bit past two that. weeks maybe yeah if you guys get me to a thousand subscribers in the next um, i say three weeks i'll set up a, a photo shoot with harris on the car well, so there we go they, they came through and then i never delivered on my part <laughs> Well, it was it was a tough wasn't it wasn't 2019 it was it, it was 2019 it was 19 so then we went to mustang week and every yep. mustang week got canceled well and and some remember the engine the engine right here in this car yeah. blew basically uh, it, it had problems it we took, knew it took a crap on him yeah so then he couldn't drive it to a photo shoot. right right so that's how we ended up here and i don't know if you've been watching the channel that long you remember that please put a comment down below i'd love to know we're going to show you guys how he does his thing today in fact on the way over here we got some roller shots which uh i didn't know we were going to get i was pretty excited yeah i, was... I mean we waited for two years i had to go do the full monty do some rollers yeah. hang out the side of the volkswagen beetle you know put my camera and myself in a little bit of danger emily's a great driver <laughs> He's a great driver here without a scratch. No, no problems yeah. with issues. And the, the photos look awesome so far. So far I've seen them guys. I'm really excited. Uh, so yeah, we got some rollers. I want to put that footage in here so you can see what that experience is like. So here comes the rollers from Luke creative, which by the way, he made the shirt so they can get more merch on shop right they can and get that too and you got too. hats too i right? sweated it through got the logo hat on it's really close here. to what you need you just need the carolina logo there no, no, <laughs> he's a duke fan he's a duke fan so anyway check out all his social media he's on instagram all that too but anyway we're gonna go ahead and cut to that footage so you can see what it was like to get the roller all right y'all we got two gopros going harris is in the shooting car i'm obviously in the car that's gonna be shot and he made me put the top down i told him this car looks better with the top up, but he wouldn't let me do it. He's the mastermind behind these pictures, so I'm gonna go with his recommendation. And so we're about to get some roller shots. Now this could be crazy, because apparently I'm supposed to almost hit their car, but not quite, something crazy like that. But yeah, we're gonna try it. We're gonna get some roller shots and see. I'm pretty excited about this. Like I told you guys at the beginning, two years in the making, so we'll see what happens. So we out here doing one of the more stupid things that I do as a photographer. I get in here all strapped in, put the camera around my wrist as tight as I can possibly get it. And we go out on the highway and I hang out the door to take pictures of, of the car rolling. Now I had to just fight the gearhead to get him to put his top down because he's got a convertible and apparently he doesn't like to put his top down. Even though he's got a shirt that says going topless that I made, you know, so whatever. But we got him to take his top down. He forgot his freaking top boot. So it's got a white top boot on it. So I'll have to uh, Photoshop that black. So we'll see. I actually think it looks good with the white top boot because it's got the white seats sticking up and Car Carolina blue and white, you know. You'll see some hand signals. You'll probably hear me cuss a couple times. So we'll probably add a duck sound or a quack over that or whatever he does. Maybe some bloopers, hopefully. Hopefully this doesn't fall out the car. Typically, I like to use the, the left hand to come closer, further back, past me, you know, try my best to get some cool shots out of it.
get the shot, apparently. So we're gonna go back out and try it again. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do this crazy driving where I don't uh, knock him out of the car. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. behind the scenes you can see Harris setting up for the shot there this has also been done on another car that's been on my channel Hicks house videos Mad Max scene he has a video uh, like this so definitely check that out if you want more behind the scenes of what it takes to get Harris to make things look good and the only thing is different this time is I don't think I don't think Brent did this in every picture no, but I, I might try this <laughs> No, I'm just messing around. But yeah, let's watch Let's watch the man work. Let's see how his knees hold up, because I heard the knees don't hold up very well, Harris. Years and years of photography will uh, go ahead and kill, kill the knees. Let's, uh, I lean on this uh, tripod more than I used to. Yeah. <laughs> photography squat has definitely taken a toll. And for me, it's basketball. But yeah, I'm going to set this up a little bit and uh, give you guys an idea of how much he moves around. And this is going to be kind of insane to see what he's doing. I'm kind of curious myself, so let's just watch. Learning some insider secrets here, it feels like. But uh, he got, I don't know, the money shots or the, the ones you can count on, maybe? Uh, yeah, the money shot is the shot that you take the risk on. That you, okay. Like, might not work out, but you've got to try it. But you have to have your establishing shots. Your, your, your fallbacks. Like, you're, you know these shots are going to be good. You've used these angles before. Yeah. I do have some Serbinator bolts in here too. You do, that looks good. They look good. So right now I'm explaining to him kind of the cheat codes of like, you don't have to completely detail your engine bay when you're getting <laughs> photos taken, but it is nice to wipe off the radiator panel, <laughs> get all the stuff, kind of get the frame clean. Cause like, this is like a picture, all right? And yeah. This, it, your engine bay is your frame and this is your beautiful subject. You need to clean off the top of your battery. Don't touch the terminals at the same time because that would be, that'll be a, <laughs> that might be a little a shocking. Bad day. Yeah, it'll <laughs> definitely be shocking. <laughs> Maybe we'll capture that right here on channel. Tune in for this shocking video. <laughs> on the gearhead 704. So, in case you don't know the background on this car, guys, I do drive it a lot. I drove it about 300, uh, no, not 300, what am I saying? Over 3,000 miles. Maybe we're almost close to five the last couple months. So, put a lot of mileage on it. Driven to Chicago, Tennessee, North Carolina mountains, all over the place. So, that is why it is so dirty. I still need to clean it, and I'll get to that. And it's a, for anyone that doesn't know, in case you're new to the channel, it's a 306, just a basic heads cam intake, uh, trick flow, stage one cam, trick flow, I guess this is their street burner intake and trick flow 170 cc heads the exhaust hopefully you guys heard that there when we were going down the road it sounds pretty good bbk shorty headers h pipe flow masters from 2005 they've been cleaned out got it <laughs> Are they 40s or? yeah back then they called it uh, american thunder Okay, so yeah. that, was, that was, but they were still like basically the 40s. Yeah, they were they were two chamber 40s from back then, the old school. I'm trying to remember what they called the three chambers, I can't remember, but somebody in the comments down below will say what they called those. Maybe that was Force 2, it might have been Force 2, but this was the American Thundercat back kit. She's been lowered, obviously, we already talked about the paint. New top, you don't see the top right now, but it has had a new top on it. Interior's been redone, Dakota Digital Cluster, 373 gears, uh, T56 Magnum six-speed transmission, which is awesome. And then did a little upgrade there for the uh, double den, little double den upgrade, which was very nice little Bluetooth, that's part of it. What headers you got on uh, They are BBKs. He's got some road grime in here, that's what it is. For sure. It's a driver, we're gonna 
we're going to show a little bit of that but you want a lot of the stuff on top a lot of the forward facing things okay to be, to be nice well this will be good this is what it looks like on my camera and what i'm going to do right now guys is insert the picture that he got with his camera after doing all this let's see the difference <laughs> All right, one thing I, I learned the hard way from shooting my first magazine shoot is that you can't shoot engine bays with the prop rod still in the photo. Yeah. So thankfully, he has long arms and he's tall. <laughs> so he might not be able to film this from first person, but I'm going to have him stand out here and hold the hood up so that I can get all the angles I need with the prop rod down. Um, I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm volunteering him to help me. <laughs> he's, my, he's my beautiful assistant. So. Oh boy. So another thing I learned, if you're shooting interior, Always shoot with the e-brake down, so make sure it's in gear so it doesn't roll and run over you. And the steering wheel completely straight with the key out of the ignition. The first magazine shoot I did, I did all three of those things wrong. I had the key in the ignition, I had the steering wheel turn, and I had the e-brake up. It was actually Rob Ruska's car, and I couldn't get back to it to shoot it because he had gone to tear the interior out. So I had to Photoshop all of those things. Oh man. The proper way. More post-production. That's probably yeah. a little harder there, it I'm was, guessing. It was a pain in the butt. Same thing with his prop rod. I had to Photoshop his prop rod okay. out of all of those pictures. So if you still got that issue from a couple years back, I think it was 18 or 19, go see if you can see my clone stamp uh, <laughs> tool that I used. What <laughs> magazine was that in? That was in Muscle Mustangs and Fast Forwards, rest in peace. Okay. Um, they gave me my first shot to shoot and write mag a magazine article, which was a dream come true. And I mean, I, I learned how to shoot by shooting my own cars. I bought a Calypso, which you've seen on the channel. It was a hunk of junk and nobody was going to take pictures of it but me. So I had to learn quick. Learning how to take pictures of that hunk of junk has let me be able to take pictures of gorgeous cars like this better than, than what it would if I started with gorgeous cars. So, you know, if you got a Corolla, if you got a Camry, <laughs> whatever you got, if you got a beater, you can learn composition off of whatever car you're shooting. Learn how to make cars look good that are bad and then a good car will be easy. <laughs> well, there you go. You heard it right here. So I guess I got to go hold the hood up. He's shooting the interior right now, guys, and he was just saying, this is by the tops down, it's easier. Yes. We've been back and forth on this all day. If you're a fan, if you've done car photography, you know how hard it yeah. is to shoot an interior. So ah, it makes sense. It's gotta be even light. You gotta get the camera all up in the, <laughs> the window. You gotta have almost a fisheye lens. Well, I can shoot his interior, a convertible interior, with the top down with a 50 millimeter, which I can just hold it up here <laughs> and get all the good there you go. that I there want. There you go. But look at that. All right, Gorgeous. yeah, that looks pretty cool. Gorgeous. It doesn't look that way in real life. <laughs> He had a boot, guys. I have a, I have a black boot, but uh, you had one and I forgot mine. You had yours, we put the white one on. You gotta admit, you're right. It doesn't look that bad. I told him I was gonna Photoshop it black, but I don't know, after looking at it for a little I while. Think I think I need think both. <laughs> I, might have to just, I still uh, think the black looks better, but maybe, who knows. The, the black is lower maintenance. You can have the black for regular driving. Yeah. Pull the white out for the car shows. Cause I What's funny you, is I actually still have a white one. I have two because I'll, it originally came as a white car. It originally came with a white boot. I'll tell you from experience, keeping this thing clean when you're driving it on a daily basis. Oh yeah. Is no, I know. Hashtag yeah. white interior problems. Oh yeah. My, don't look too close at my interior, guys. Here, she's gonna be working hard on Photoshop I'm, on this I'm one. Getting as close as I can get in here. <laughs> so. Which will he'll get the Photoshop going. So I forgot to mention that. Yeah, it was uh, the the whole engine and stuff was replaced at Fox Resto. That's who I work with. Hey, so. look, I'm trying to tell this guy. He needs to get some more confidence because a lot of you have been here and you've been here for a while and you know all this stuff <laughs> and he can refer to a video real quickly but he doesn't have to re-explain everything so comment below if you've been here for a while and you know that he makes the best shit on youtube <laughs> some of the best shit on YouTube. Now, I, I gotta believe i gotta get the ducks quacking man come on okay. you're killing me here <laughs> <laughs> he makes some of the best most consistent fox body content on youtube and you've been here for a while just like me we watch it every week twice a week and you know this two stuff. times so a week comment below if you're here two times a week every week and he needs to get that confidence up and say it with his chest we know we know tar heel fox man it's iconic it's on a t-shirt so it's true it's close it's close it's kind of a mix between me and grandpa but we are going to have a new t-shirt coming from this photo shoot right here can't wait to see what harris comes up with that but uh you're gonna make those comments blow up man i don't have to respond to too many because i respond to almost every one and they've been there they're yeah here for, they know the, all right all right they know fox resto they know the, the best Ma maybe uh maybe i got a couple new people watching yeah comment if you're new <laughs> but if they hear you say something and they don't know about it they're gonna go search in your channel for it. that's true that's so, true it's yeah. all out there it's all out you there i love this guy he, he really pumps up my confidence this guy 
He's out here. He's gearhead 704. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to you guys in a minute. We've now reached the most exciting part of the video, and that is with the top up. We got the top right. up now. Top up. Actually, I did a pretty cool, I'm, I'm gonna try to do a pretty cool picture where I do like that whole ghosting thing. Of, yeah. Like, I've always wanted to do it on my car, but I go shoot my car by myself most times, so you need somebody in the car to put the top up, so a little test. Like I said before, we got the standard shots, we got yeah. the easy money. This is one of your money makers. The, the chances that you take to try to get something cool yeah something and i'm glad that uh i'm glad that we got to try that so that'll be a cool shot i guess we'll end up uh putting all these photos up somewhere uh, social media definitely if it works out media. it can go like right here somewhere maybe if he can do that or i do know how to do that pop up on the screen we'll just, yeah. whatever wait maybe i'll put it right where's your face at right, right there <laughs> just cover up this monstrosity here oh lord all right so we're gonna try to clean the top now All right, so as you can see, we keep moving the car around and there's a reason, there's a reason. And I feel like if you're an aspiring photographer for this kind of stuff, you can learn a lot today on Gearhead 704. It's always about learning, usually it's wrenching, but Paris, today you're, I don't know, I'm the tool, you're using the tool. No, the camera's the tool. Yes. All right, there we go. Uh, I'm a tool too. So. <laughs> okay. But uh, no, today we're learning how to click buttons, which, you know, you can figure through clicking buttons out yourself. But the composition is important because this is, these are what I call my magazine shots, working with the legendary Keith Keplinger on his two-page spread campaign, which check it out on Facebook, the two-page spread, Keplinger Designs. Shout out to Keith. I've got my longer lens on here. This is not my favorite lens to use. This is what I used for the rolling shots earlier. It's what came with the camera. It's a 24 to 105. It doesn't go down quite as low. It doesn't crush the background the way I like it, but I can zoom into that 105 and get back as far as I can and it flattens out the car. Whereas I was using a 50 millimeter, it's going to have a little bit of warp to it and have a little bit of lens warp. I can get way back with the 100 millimeter and I can show the car flat completely from the side. Okay. And I'll get him to turn it and face me in this spot right here, and I'll get it completely flat from the front, and then I'll do it from the back. And those are like your five point kind of almost blueprint style shots. Are like, those the ones that go across two pages usually? Yes. Okay. So that's your two page kind of, you know. I know what he's talking about there. I used to white read the magazine. I want, I'm saving up. I want to get me a, a, one of the white lenses, one of the fancy ones that shows that you really spend money on your photography so i'm getting there hey you're talking to a guy that's using a gopro with a broken <laughs> screen i don't know if you seen guys i know you haven't seen it check neo mustang's channel so it shows on his channel so like a, a lot of things behind the camera whatever equipment you can get use i started on my mom's canon uh, rebel whatever camera you can get whether it's a dslr you know whatever using your phone things like this zooming in as far as you can zoom in i wouldn't go further than the 2x on the iphone if you're gonna like use iphone shots but getting that 2x shot backing away from your car holding the camera around the waistline of the car so you get that perfect flat view it typically works every time more of your easy money shots and more of the stuff that if you're shooting for a magazine they want to see they want to cover the entire car they want to showcase the wheels, the tent, the whatever you have on it. And these are the, this is the easiest way to do it. All right, guys, with that is a wrap. We're out here, we're actually sweating behind the scenes, but Harris, I guess you did a good job. They know before I we do. So. Yeah, so. We'll see some pictures. Maybe I did bad, maybe I did good. Yeah, and then this video won't go up, so don't worry about it. <laughs> well, thankfully, the good thing about digital cameras is you don't waste any film, so. That's true. To the OGs, my heart goes out to you because you would shoot this stuff and you wouldn't even know if your settings were right or not, so. Right, that's um, tough. Uh, yeah, I'm just glad I don't have to do that. Well, there is a couple things we do want to talk about here, guys, real quick. One thing is, Harris, you're looking for other cars to shoot at Mustang Week, I believe, or just in general? Just in general, I'll be at Mustang Week. And you know, I do my Lou Creative calendar every year, which you've seen on the channel. And Fox Resto sold a couple of them for me this year. Actually, we, we sold more this year than we ever have. So oh, awesome, I, guess, I didn't know that. I guess after last year, a lot of y'all needed to keep up with the dates a little better, but uh, <laughs> this car will be in it. Hey, all right, all right, we got it on video. I'm good, I was waiting for that moment all day. <laughs> and I think I've, I've got about half the months covered. If you got a cool Fox and you, you think it belongs in a calendar, let me know. Um, and if you're gonna be at Mustang Week, let me know. I think I got about six months left that I can fill with cars. What's the best uh, way to contact your email or? Email, Instagram, lucreative at gmail.com or DM me at lucreative on, on Instagram. I, oh. I check my message requests pretty regularly. So there's also an email button on my Instagram to check it out. So if you're gonna be at Mustang Week also, I do host the Retro Meet. Yes, and, yes, uh, the Retro Meet is awesome. I've never been Harris, but we talked about it a few times on the channel. 
It's a must-see event, right? We're gonna break him in this year. It's, it's a <laughs> must-see event. It's a suck bang blow down in Merle's Inlet. Family-friendly environment, bring the kids, and we have a costume contest every year. Um, so there will be some pretty big prizes that I'm excited to announce coming up. There's gonna be a pretty cool trophy, and we also have Right now, one of the only legitimate burnout contests at Mustang Week yep. since the official one got canceled. So there will be a burnout contest king and a retro meat costume queen, a retro meat costume king, and an overall winner that will go home with all the money and prizes. It's, not, it's prizes, it's not money. <laughs> but uh, bring out your best costume. We're celebrating the Fox bodies from 79 to 93 and the SN cars dabbled in a little bit of new edge. And then we also have the classics, uh, which only a few show up the Mustang week. So if you're coming in a classic, if you're coming in a 60s, 70s, a Mustang too, hit me up because we need some of those. But the front will be filled with the retro cars and we have a big side parking lot that'll feature all the rest, the S550s, the, the new edges, the S197s. So we welcome everybody to come have a good time, come party, come have some drinks with us. We'll see you Wednesday night, September 8th at Mustang week. Awesome, well, I'm definitely gonna be there. Really excited about it. So if you come out, definitely say hi to me. Say hi to you as well, right here? Yes, come find me. I'll, I'll probably- It might be a little busy, but- I'll be on a bullhorn or a microphone yeah. or selling a t-shirt at some point but come say <laughs> hey um and let's let's go have a good time yeah we'd love to meet all these guys uh, if they come out you're gonna have some other people there as well foxcast media is gonna be there foxcast uh serbinator louisville media right QSD louisville Notch. media is he, we're, he's actually one of my roommates this year so yeah he'll he'll probably be there so it's it's gonna be pretty star studded we got tom clark that comes every year with the retro fox so yeah we're gonna have a good time and uh It'll be a good good place to gather and, and see a bunch of cool cars and kind of bask in the glory that is the Fox body in the 80s. Yes. So. Yeah, we love it. Big thanks today to Harris Loot Creative. Really appreciate it, man. Oh, thank you, sir. Yep, we finally delivered after two years. We finally delivered, guys. Long awaited, <laughs> long awaited. If I, if I mess this up, I'm really in trouble. I've nah, been, you I've can't. two years to practice for this. All right, I'm sure he did good. So anyway, that's it for this one. I know a little bit longer video, but really wanted to give you guys inside look at how this photography is done and just had a blast. I definitely learned some things. Hope you did as well. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. That actually helps me out a lot. If you're stopping in for the first time, we had a lot of new information for you today. <laughs> please subscribe, because I do upload two times a week, every Sunday and Wednesday, so you can count on that consistent content. And click that bell so you get the notifications. So you'll watch it from your phone, your email, wherever those notifications go. Click the bell, because you want to watch this stuff. <laughs> what he said. And we'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. Stay for the bloopers. I know there's going to be some, definitely. Once we get to it, the thou, 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 the thou,